Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Last minute decision to go fishing. I hadn't been out for a few days, so I thought I would come down to the pond, see if they're biting. Let's see what happens. There we go. Little bass right off the bat. He'll be feisty too. Easy fella. Easy. There you go. One little guy. First cast got a hit. Second cast got a fish. That's not bad. Most of the bass have been catching been all that size out of this pond lately. Last year they were big, so I'm not sure what's happened. There was major flooding in the spring. A lot of the water ended up in the field right there across the pond, so I went looking, but I didn't think, see any bass in the field, so I don't know whether we lost some or not. There's another hit. Oh, pull the weight away from him. That might have been a bluegill. Switch it up a little bit here. Switch over to the jig. I got a 3 8 ounce jig with a rubber trailer. That'd be black and blue. The only trailer I had was a green trailer, so that's what's on there. Somehow I don't think the bass are stacking up on shore. Let me just uh, redo that. Well, one small bass at the other end of the pond. This end here always produces something, but it looks like the water's gotten up a little high. See my decoys out there. Let's see if we can make something happen here. I know the bluegill like to hang out at this end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work this end with a spinner bait from here over to here. If that doesn't produce anything, I'm then going to I'm going to switch over to the jig. And folks, as you know, I always keep it real. If I catch one fish, I catch one fish. If I catch a bucket full, I catch a bucket full. If I don't get any, I don't get any. If 
flies are biting at this end. There's a good hit. There we go. We got him. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Come on over here, buddy. Finally, quality bass. Quality bass. There we go. Oh, finally, nice little three pounder. That's a nice fish, really nice fish. Finally. And he's gone. I got him on the jig. Colors don't exactly go together, but I got a three eight ounce jig. Uh, black and blue skirt with a green pumpkin trailer. So he seemed to like that. He was held up in the bottom here. Not interested in the spinnerbait at all because I ran that spinnerbait across there probably five or six times. He wanted something a little slower. That's good because I was getting worried some of the bigger bass had gone. I can tell you guys, if that is the only two fish that I catch today, I'm okay with that. As I untangle my line here, the last few times out here, it's been all fish under a pound. And I got worried that during the floods and some of the draining of the pond, as some of the bigger bass got caught up in the draining and the flooding. So the fact that that big guy was still in here, I like it. As you can see, this big caster is running out of string. That is 50 pound braid. So I'm not worried about uh, breaking off. I'm on holidays right now. Nice. Going to Myrtle Beach on Saturday. So I'm just trying to stay as far away from work as I can. Oh, I don't blame you. Thank you. Oh no, oh no. No. Imagine that, the owner of a pond wants to know if it bothers me that they're around the pond when I'm fishing. And that's because I respect their property. Take a second to let you guys know what I'm using here. This is a spinnerbait I had on earlier, but the rod is just a Bass Pro Shop rod. 6'7", medium heavy. But the reel is an Abu Garcia Black Max. The reason is I started using an Abu Garcia Black Max reel and found them real easy to learn on. I've had more expensive quantums, which were a nightmare. So I went back to the inexpensive Black Max. I now have four. I see no reason to switch. And no, that's not a paid endorsement. Although I wish it was. I just find these things real easy to cast, real easy to work with. 
If you're new to using a bait caster, this works great. Even if you got experience, I mean, I know Abu Garcia makes more expensive ones, but I figure why mess with what's working? Very little backlash too. I keep casting into that corner, guys, because this corner has produced a lot of fish. Uh, lately, it's been a little slow, but when I first started fishing this pond, this is where I always went for that very reason. It just kept producing fish. I have seen this pond drained almost to nothing, and I know there's a lot of structure up in this corner, and that's why they're here. Well, guys, like I said, I always like to try and keep it real. If I catch fish, I show you. If I catch one, I show you. Today I caught two, missed one, and the flies darn near ate me alive. Only two fish, but I'm okay with it because I'm not working. I took the night off, caught a couple fish. To me, that's worth it. Even if I caught nothing, I still went fishing instead of working. That's all I got for today's video. Get out there and enjoy the outdoors. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later.